Jason. And today we're doing the long awaited walkthrough of our truck. We have a 3500 Dodge Ram. It has a 6.7 Cummins diesel engine and we have the dual rear wheel model. It's a 2012 and has the Laramie package which comes with some great upgrades. So we're just going to give you a quick rundown of the outside and then get to the details on the inside. We purchased this from a small dealer in Great Falls, Montana on consignment from an owner who took amazing care of it. It has a 6.7 liter Cummins turbo diesel engine, which I use Shell Rotella T6 full synthetic oil, 5 weight 40. The only upgrade that we've performed in the engine compartment is to replace the conventional air filter with a K&N air filter. So let's go take a look at some of the other upgrades we've performed. The MAG high-tech rear differential cover allows us to utilize the drain plug for easier fluid changes and the machined heat seek fins cools the differential fluid while we're towing, which is a big plus. All right, let's go look at the last upgrade we performed on the outside of the truck, which is also MAG high-tech. The final major upgrade is the MAG high-tech transmission pan. It allows for easier replacement of the transmission fluid, which you need to do more often when you're towing. And the machined fins allow for cooling of the transmission fluid, even when you're not moving and getting the airflow that will normally cool down your transmission fluid. If you're looking into towing, I highly recommend you check out what Mag High Tech has to offer. This isn't sponsored. They just happen to be close to where we lived in LA and they make a great product, highly reviewed online. Let's go check out what we got on the inside. Oh yeah, one more thing that we almost forgot before we go inside is this little thing. It's called the stubby. We replaced our antenna with this because we have Sirius XM and we really don't listen to the radio much but we really mostly changed it because I like to lean out my window and take pictures and the long antenna was just getting in my way. So this was our solution. Okay, now let's really go inside. As we said before, this is a 2012 Dodge Ram 3500. That means it doesn't need death. So if you're looking for a used diesel out there, I recommend going before 2013 because that's when they started requiring DEF. The Laramie package gives us some upgrades, including a heated steering wheel, which has been nice in this Arctic freeze weather that we're having in Texas. You have all the controls at your hand for easy entertainment center access, answering calls, changing the station. We did get four wheel drive. So we have our controls right here and this diesel does have an engine brake and tow haul mode, which are right here and easy to make sure that we have them on when we're towing, which we use them every single time. So I'm gonna hand it over to Ray so she can talk about the rest of the amenities. We have leather seats that are both heated and cooled with the control settings right here. We also have um, an electrical outlet inside the truck, which is awesome for when we need to charge our Mac or our camera batteries. <clears throat> we have two glove boxes. You don't need to see inside those though, because they're pretty messy. <laughs> but a little one up here for tissues and anything we can throw up there, and then a larger one down here. It has power windows and locks. The navigation system is right here in the center. We actually don't really use it too much, but anytime we did use it, it's really accurate, so we feel comfortable using it if we need it. We use Sirius XM radio, and we also have Bluetooth in here because we listen to a lot of podcasts. It also has a rear view camera in the back of the truck that we can see if we're going to hit anything or not. Obviously, this is a big girl, so it's great to have that extra feature and eyes where we need it. 
We have dual zone heating and cooling, which means Jason can control his side and I can control mine, which I'd have to say this is probably one of my favorite features because Jason seems to be always hot and I'm always cold. So we're probably never on the same temperature, which is amazing that we both can drive comfortably. In the middle here, we have just two cup holders, a lot of storage area to throw change or gum. One of the additional features that we did end up buying was this cell phone holder and it just slips right into I believe what is a business card holder. So that was a great upgrade that we were able to do. Instead of having a business card holder, it now holds our cell phones, which is much more practical for us. So the last thing up here to go over is our center console, which has two storage compartments. The top one is just a little flap where you can get easy access to pens, notebooks, anything you wanna throw in there. And then the bottom is huge storage. However, it was pretty much just a black hole for us. So Jason found a storage compartmentalizer, I guess is what you would call it, but it's definitely helped with keeping that area organized and not just a junk collector for us. And the last thing I wanted to add is that we have a mount that we also purchased. It's for our iPad and we use the app Copilot to help get us around when we're towing because that app will warn you of low bridges or roads with weight limits and it just helps you get around a lot easier. So we use that on the iPad and we just use this mount that was specially made for it. All right, I think that's it up here. Let's go to the back. All right, this is our back seat. It is a three-seater, however, no one's ever back here except Carmen, and it never looks like this. We have a dog hammock that goes in between here so she can't access the floor at all, and it connects to the headrests, and we put a dog bed in here, so she is living lush on travel days. So even though we don't really use these features, we're gonna show them to you anyway. We have... The armrest that comes out and has two cup holders here. There is an additional two cup holder down here. Underneath the seat is our speaker. The other seat comes up like this as well, except it has storage underneath and not a speaker. Underneath our floor mat, on both sides, we have a storage compartment. We store some emergency supplies and Carmen's leashes uh, and additional ropes and bungee cords and things like that that we just might need to have in the car. We have a car outlet back here as well, which is really great because we really do charge 852 things in this car. We also have heated seats, which don't tell Carmen because she will want us to turn them on. Other than that, I think that wraps up our video for today. We do have a B&W hitch for anyone that is wondering, but I do think we're gonna do an entire video on that hitch because it is awesome and we can't recommend it enough. So if you have any questions about the truck, if we didn't answer things that you've just been dying to know, let us know and we'll get those answers to you. Also, a special shout out to Eddie for asking us three times for this video. You finally got our butts in gear and we got it done. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like our truck. Subscribe so you never miss an adventure. And let's get away together next time. Bye guys! Things that